Fraser Lane, Van Rama National League action, match day 45, the penultimate game of the season and stakes high at both ends of the table with the Bluebirds coming into this game knowing that if they can pull off an upset okay, and pick up all three points this evening then safety in the National League will be all but a formality going into the final game of the season. Set piece, taken short. And whipped into the area at the second attempt. Usa Diara gets there. Good headed clearance. Back into the box it goes. Headed down. Barrow need to watch out. Shot comes in there from Roger Johnson. Deflected away. Bromley still in possession though. Inside the Barrow area. And in the end they're touching out for a goal kick. To be taken. David Gregory again. The man to launch it forward. Into the Barrow half. Picked up by Callum McDonald. Sent back forward by him. Jordan White trying to win the flick on. Bounces through to Luke James. Luke James spots a keeper off his line. Goes for it but... Couldn't get full contact on it. Gregory's able to get back and gather it up. NBC Radio Cumbria Sports on this Tuesday night. Ball roll through and a chance maybe here. Hanlon gets inside the penalty area. Fires it right across the face of goal. No one there to get on the end of it. So still nil-nil the scoreline coming up to the 20-minute mark here at Hayes Lane. There's a ball played forward now by Gomez. Picked up now on Luke James outside the area. Brings it inside. Still going Luke James. Finds a shot at goal. Keeper gets across well and makes the save. But the first time really that Luke James has managed to get a sight on goal. Angle to give the to give the striker a, you know, a chance of getting on it with a, with a diagonal run as well. As Dan Jones sends one forward. Luke James trying to get it. It's headed clear by the goalkeeper. As Kingsley James now will pick it up. Gregory's managed to get back. Kingsley James still in possession. Tees up Dan Jones who puts his foot well through it. It's over the bar for a goal kick. Certainly taking confidence from Noah Barrow, aren't they, as the game goes on. But now Bromley could be in themselves here, and it was just a fleet ball through. Steve Arnold gets there, saves the original shot, the rebound, an absolute awful effort there at the back post, and the Bluebirds survive. Gomez, now Luke James, Kingsley James, back it goes to Tony Dian, who sends it forward, and the referee blows the half-time whistle. All in all, you know, Barrow can't really say a lot wrong with that first half performance quiz. 13 minutes gone in this second half. BBC Radio Cumbria Sports here at Hayes Lane in Kent. Match day 45 of the National League. That's the penultimate game of the campaign. Throwing taken into the middle it goes. Bromley now with an opportunity to break here. Can they get the shot away? They can do, but a brilliant save from Steve Arnold. It was Omar Bugle who got the shot away on goal, but Arnold saw it late. Turns it round the post. A bit of purpose and, and let's see if we can get a goal. Jones takes a free kick, rolls it down the line. Luke James stabs it back. Dan Jones gets onto the ball, floats it into the area. Musa Diara gets up with the header, but gets to the wrong side of it. It's out of play for a goal kick. The free kick is going to be taken. It's going to be Sutherland who will chip it over the wall. Comes right to the back post of Roger Johnson, who's in acres of space. And Barrow managed to get the ball away. Bromley get it back though and coming towards goal again with Bugle. Flicks it out wide. Raymond sends it into the area, comes to Roger Johnson again, teed up to Louis Dennis, who gets a shot away, Steve Arnold again gets a save, put back across but the flag's up anyway, and Barrow once again surviving. Nathan Waterston now plays it into Jordan White, back it goes to Luke James, over on that left hand side, Luke James plays back in off him, Luke James fires a shot at goal, off target for a goal kick. Brilliant, brilliant play again. Luke James had just managed to pull on the on the on the third centre half shoulder. He's freed himself one one on one. Took it inside, got a shot just off target, but there's a little bit more intent. Now Frankie Raymond back it goes to Louis Dennis. Nice little football there from Bromley. And Dennis again sprinting forward. Barrow get the ball back though. Bromley were looking for a free kick there, but it was a great challenge right in front of us. And now Barrow have it with Jordan White. Lewis Walters starting to make a run. Jordan White has a shot on goal, but it's wide of goal. Goal kick couldn't quite get onto it properly White and again Bromley are able to get the ball clear and now looking to break themselves here Barrow have to be big at the back again Hanlon takes it inside the area Tony Dian holding him up again Hanlon goes to ground screams for a penalty from the Bromley supporters behind that goal and the referee again says no but well, there's two occasions there where Dian's he's made some fantastic some fantastic defending from him Here come Barrow again now with Gomez. Out wide it goes to Lewis Walters. Walters steps inside the area. Walters curls one at goal, but it just goes wide as Bromley were looking for a free kick themselves inside the Barrow half. It was a counter-attack that came from it. 
Barrow of a player down Bromley of Adam Mecky who's just got back to his feet got a 50-50 but free kick taken quickly Frankie Raymond delivers a ball into the area right towards the back post Asa Hall gets a touch on it Moussa Diara gets a touch on it the shot comes in from Roger Johnson right across the face of goal out for a goal kick I think that's just probably the, the little bit of luck that Barrow need just to just to probably see this game out now. Steve Arnold gets the ball forward, Jordan White flicking it on Barrow looking for a free kick. Referee says no and here come Bromley once again. Forward it goes, again looking for Louis Dennis, flicked on there by Dan Jones. Now Lewis Walters has got a touch on it and Lewis Walters could be in here. Gets into the penalty area, the ball needs to be good. Right across the face of goal and Jordan White again the wrong side of it as it goes out for a throw in. It's a massive chance, he whipped it across the box and we couldn't get on the end of it. That was so nearly hit for Barrow, the supporters were racing the way to the front of that stand. Every single player is bunched right over on that touchline as a kick goes upfield. A chorus of boos from the Bromley supporters as the final whistle is blown. It's a massive, massive point for Barrow. You know, although probably Bromley have been a little bit better second half, I think we've had the chance of the game, I really do. Well, I suppose, I mean, it does bring something now going into that final game of the season. If the unthinkable was to happen and Barrow were to lose that game against Chester on, on Saturday, at least it does now mean that Woking have to beat Dover. You've got to say, in the grand scheme of things, looking at the, at the league tables, it's a great point at Aldershot, and it's an even better point here today, isn't it? Because these were desperate to get in that playoff, point, uh, playoff position, it's desperate for three points. But Barrow, you've got to say Barrow have done really well, they're defending when they've had to. You know, they've, they've had a little bit of luck, certainly with the, the one that fell in the box and, and the lad should have scored, you've got to say it. But in, in, in the hole, you know, they've got the ball down, they've played. Fantastic first half performance. Well, I, I tell you what, you know, if you look at today's performance, it's a good performance. You know, we've played the ball around, we look like our shape looked decent, you know, we, we look like good technicians at times. Well, massive thanks to Chris Perry for joining me today and obviously for all the work that you've done for Radio Cumbria throughout this season as well been an absolute pleasure honestly an absolute pleasure good football club you know I think if you look and this is for the, for the fans at home if you look at, at Barrow's performance today we should never be where we are not a chance but we just don't score enough goals so it all goes down to Saturday another massive point for the Bluebirds today a point maybe not what Barrow would have been hoping for but still they didn't lose the game it does mean Woking have to win the last game of the season against Dover to have that chance of staying up a great evening here in Kent the Bluebirds have managed to get themselves a point it's one more point towards safety it's finished here Bromley nil Barrow nil